So today I'm going to kind of talk about uh, how I got my CDL uh, and maybe a little bit about why, but more so the how. And a lot of there's, you know, I got mine through uh, technical college. Uh, I knew I knew that I didn't want to go to a starter company. Uh, mega carrier school to, to get your license that way and um, I just I didn't want to do that um, look you know luckily I had the opportunity to um, go to a technical college to get it um, it was about an eight-week program uh, maybe six or eight weeks something like that and We'll talk about kind of financially too because that's fine you know i think probably financially is probably the biggest deciding factor on how and how people get started and how they get their cdl and all that stuff um luckily you know financially i was able to, to go now probably most people that's not Gonna, that's not going to happen for a lot of people because you know you, you already have a full time job and it's hard to try to go to school now. Sometimes now some programs are will offer maybe two nights a week for you know a, a longer period of time. Um, but I was able to go every day for like eight hours for about six or eight weeks and and get it that way. Financially, it it didn't cost really the the actual the tuition. I think really at the end of the day, after grants paid for my tuition, I think I paid literally about five or six dollars out of pocket for the course. Now you, I had to pay. It was about eighty dollars for the books which is basically a they give you a kit which is you got a duffel bag uh, a big a map uh, a textbook and a couple of um, uh, log books and a few other little miscellaneous things and that that it was only so much covered I can't really remember but it, and that was about 80 bucks so really it didn't cost me that much I mean out of pocket probably less than a hundred dollars um, for the for the to take the course now I know that there are some driving schools um, and I from what I understand they can cost several thousands of dollars out of pocket you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars. Some, I don't know. That I'm sure it depends on what school and where and all that. But um, I, I, I knew that I. That's what how I wanted to get. And luckily, I had the opportunity to get it that way. I went every day, and then uh, it come time to take my test, and you know, all of that. So. I think that's part that I knew that I, I knew what I knew how I didn't want to get it, you know. Um, I think it was a good course. Um, I may I may go into another video about about what all the course itself, but basically that's how I got mine. I mean, it's and you know, for a lot of people, like I said, it's not you know a lot of people that's not a, really an option because they still have to go to work full time and and all that a lot of people have to get theirs going through some starter company you know i see a lot about uh, cr england and these places that you know you, you go to this school and they'll give you you know they'll train you for your cdl and but then you're locked into you have to work with them for a year or something like that um, into a, like a contract uh, not to mention stay in a, uh, in a in a motel. I don't know. It's there, I've seen too many things about that. I knew I, that's not how I wanted to do it. Uh, you know, I was able to go to school every day, come home, and sleep in my own bed at night. And I wasn't 
locked into anything after I got it, and I owed no money after I got my CD. After, I mean, everything was already paid for. I didn't owe anything. I wasn't uh, obligated to a contract to work for anybody for any amount of time. Uh, now, we had a couple of companies that come to the school, you know, a couple of recruiters that, you know, would, that would take new drivers, um, I believe, maybe CT Transport, um, I don't even know, I don't know, there, maybe Werner, I'm not sure, um, but there were a couple that they come and would, they would take, you know, they, they, they hired new drivers, so that was good. Now, that's not the direction I went, I didn't go with any of those companies. That's how I got mine. I think it was a good. I think it was a good way to go. I was, it was something I was happy with. And uh, like I said, I'll probably I'll probably have another video a little more about kind of what we did and maybe the pros and cons of, or in my opinion, of going that route. And I and or and I guess I would even classify technical technical college and uh, a place like Roadmaster probably into the same category versus going to uh, a, a company that you, you have to go through them to get your CDL. Um, so that's just a little bit about how I, I'll probably got, I'll probably do something, uh, uh, go into another video about, uh, about the course itself. So uh, thanks for watching.